Okay, so hello everyone. Good day. Okay, um, before we start anything else, can you hear me clearly? Well, I hope you can. And if you cannot, um, just try to lower down the quality of the video so that at least you can hear me. Okay, so I hope we are all doing great. So again, this is Kay. Um, I'm from group 10 and for this video, I'm gonna be talking about contingency theory of leadership. So this is gonna be just very quick. Now we have to take note everyone, um, contingency theory of leadership. It's not just about this topic okay there are a lot of other contingency theories but before starting off the actual topic uh, let me try to um, to share with you what contingency theory is so contingency theory of leadership supposes that a leader's effectiveness is contingent on whether or not their le leadership style suits a particular situation so according to this theory an individual, especially a leader, can be effective in situation A and can also be ineffective in situation B. So that is contingency theory. But now, let's focus on Feidler's um, contingency theory. So again, this is not just the only theory that we have in the world. Uh, but Feidler's contingency theory of leadership states that your effectiveness as a leader is determined by how well your leadership style matches the situation. And we have to take note in Feidler's contingency theory, your leadership style is fixed. So, murag dili siya mag-adjust sa imuha, okay? Ang situation dapat mag-match sa contingent as a imong leadership style so there are two factors we, that we have to remember in contingency theory first your leadership style the second one is the situational favorableness so first let's talk about leadership style your natural leadership style can be determined by using a scale called called least preferred co-worker okay now how to score to score yourself using this scale you have to describe the co-worker with whom you least prefer to work okay now the results can be high lpc high least preferred worker or low lpc or low preferred worker high least preferred co-worker means you're more on a relationship oriented leader but if the results show that you have low least preferred co-worker that means that more you're more on the task oriented leader now what do we mean by task oriented leader this is the type of leader wherein you are focus on the task you really do your best to finish the task and you know you're you're very good at getting things done however um when we say relationship oriented leader this is the type of leader wherein you're more better on building relationships or trust with your subordinates or members okay so next we have the situational favorableness it is determined by how much control over the situation you have. And there are three factors. First, leader-member relationships. It, it's, it means that how your members trust you or how you trust your members or subordinates. And when we say task structure, it's, it's more on how vague task structures, tasks are or how concrete or how difficult tasks are and the last one is your position power the authority or the power you have uh like the more how can i say like um mm, because the more position power you have or the more authority you have that means you you can really punish or discipline your members you can praise them as well as discipline them okay and then <clears throat> next let's move on to how we can scale it so how we use the model there are three steps step one is to to calculate and in this side we have the negative and then in this side we have the positive now if yours if for example ako 
Am I unpleasant or pleasant? Hmm, siguro, 6, 7. I'll, I'll score myself a 7. Rejecting, accepting, I'm more on accepting. So, maybe I'm 6. And then, tense, relax, I'm more on 8. Something like that, okay? So, if your overall results is over or equal to 73, that means that you're more on a relationship oriented leader but if your score is equal to or lesser than 54 that means that you're more on the task oriented leader you know if your score is between 55 to 72 you are a mixture of both okay so next we have the step two mm. We have to use the model as step two is going to be understanding our situation by asking ourselves three questions. Number one, remember the member relationship. Ask yourself, is trust with your team high or low? Number two, for the task structure we have, are tasks vague or clear cut and well understood? And the last three, remember position power. Ask yourself, is your authority low or Or high okay take note about that and now we're gonna graph the results the overall results now as you can see here um, according to you know just to summarize everything let's look at this diagram right here so this is Fiddler's contingency theory as you can see that the more high the favorableness or low the favorableness is low lpc is low lpc or low lpc yung sagilit yung low lpc basta low lpc mm, being a task oriented leader is better okay so again again bisaya on ako the more high ang favorableness or low ang favorableness ang suggested good guy low LPC or task oriented leader okay so let's oh my gosh low but na ko so um okay let's continue with the examples so you are you have been newly appointed the manager of a pizza hut restaurant mo situation trust is low task structure is high Position power is high. The ta this type of leader of this job would be a task-oriented leader. Okay? So, if you have some time later on, ask yourselves or analyze the situation. Nga nung, nga nung kuan man. Trust is low, task structure is high, position is power, i power is high. Nga nung nahin mo mag task-oriented leader. Okay? So, just... Uh, you can just go back to this um, topic and you can really um, you can really explain why the perfect leadership style for this situation is to be a task oriented leader so next I have another example software development manager so um, okay let me try Um, so, the scenario is, you have been promoted to be the manager of a software development team you've been working for in two years. So, trust, ang situation niya, everyone, kay trust is high, task structure is low, position, power, power is low. Mm. So, ang solid task, ang task structure medyo mubo. Pero, ang, ay, ang position power side medyo mubo. But still, the best type of leader for this job would be a task-oriented leader. Okay. So, there are advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. It provides a rule of thumb for identifying which leaders are best for which situations. Unlike many other le leadership theories, it takes the situation into account. So, unlike other leadership theories, kay kini nga theory, more on situation. Situation ang maong mag-adjust sa, maong mag-adjust. Now, both the LPC and the situational factors are easy to measure. So, 
So, yun yung mag-measure, di ba? Nakita na ako. Pwede to ninyo i-screenshot ganina. Now, the disadvantages, it's not flexible at all. So, the LPC scale is subjective. And if you fall in the middle of the LPC scale, then there is no guidance as to which kind of leader you might be. Kaya kung 50-50, maglibog ka kung, kung task-oriented leader ba ka or relationship-oriented relationship -oriented leader ba ka. So, your assessment of the situation is also subjective. So, yes, that would be it for today's topic, which is about contingency theory by Feidler. Now, but, you know, we're, if we're gonna just talk about leadership before ending this um, report, I, I mean, being, uh, becoming a perfect leader is impossible. But trying our best to become great, we can do that. So, I hope we'll do that now. Okay, so thank you so much everyone. Stay healthy and wear your mask wherever you go out from your house. Goodbye everyone!